Good morning. Welcome to another At Dawn series. Today we're starting 1 Thessalonians. So here Paul writes to this faithful congregation that he raised up in the city of Thessalonica. So how did that all begin? Chapter 1, verses 1 to 5. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God always for you, all making mention of you in our prayers, remembering without ceasing your work of faith, labor of love, and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of our God and Father, knowing, beloved brethren, your election by God. For our gospel did not come to you in word only, but also in power, and in the Holy Spirit, and in much assurance, as you know what kind of men we were among you for your sake. So we're going to be exploring a different kind of book, we just finished the Gospel of Mark, and that's pretty much narrative. Today we're looking at an epistle. So what is an epistle? It's a little bit of a different kind of thing than, than the Gospel. This is going to be uh, kind of, it's a letter format, but it's not just a regular letter. It's kind of a letter written with a certain, uh, usually a certain order. Things happen in the letter. And it's also written more like a, I guess you could call it a circular letter. It's written from Paul to, in this case, the church in Thessalonica, but it's also written to be read, to be passed around and read in the different churches. Usually an epistle has uh, an opening greeting and then it'll be giving thanks or, or kind of some introductory icebreaking talk here, but it's not just random uh, useless um, kinds of icebreaker. He's bringing up different things that have happened in the past. He's, he's kind of building up. Then there will be a main section, uh, main doctrinal section, which is usually the main reason the letter is written. And then at the end, you'll often have practical application, and then there will be a bunch of greetings that, uh, to particular people in the congregation that he's sending it to. So this epistle follows that kind of basic plan. Thessalonica was a, uh, a major city. It was a major city of commerce. It was kind of a hub and a significant city. In fact, the main Roman road leading uh, out to the east goes through Thessalonica. So this was a... this was following Paul's pattern, a lot of times he would go to a major city and work that major city, build up a church there, and then carry on to the next one. We think this might be around the year 52 AD. If you look at verses 3 and a little bit in 4 and 5, you see kind of the things that Paul is, is bringing to the front here. Uh, this is a group that uh, has active, active faith, they have uh, power, and they have the Holy Spirit. They've also had much affliction. Uh, which we're going to see as we carry on. And yet, uh, God has been active and this church has grown from nothing. This has grown and become a significant church in the early Christian church. I want to draw your attention especially to what it says in verse 5 again. For our gospel did not come to you in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and in much assurance, as you know what kind of men we were among you for your sake. So this is a gospel of power, which we'll be talking about a little bit tomorrow morning. But we want a gospel of power, not a gospel of powerlessness, but a gospel of power. And praise the Lord, that's exactly what the Bible gospel is. Would you join me in a word of prayer? Dear Father in heaven, we thank you that you uh, have been building your church from the beginning. And we're going to get to learn a lot about that and maybe can apply some of this in our local setting wherever we are. So please, Lord, help us to learn, help us to gather in from the uh, the good things that are happening in Thessalonica and some of their challenges and troubles and some of the solutions that you're going to show us as we read through. Please, Lord, bless our little churches scattered across the land, big or small. Bless them so that they are effective lighthouses for you in a lot, a great deal of darkness. Lord, people need the light. Use us. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It'll help raise the videos in the search ranking. And we want more people to hear about the Lord Jesus through these videos. You know what to do. How is the local church where you're a member? How does it compare to the Thessalonian church? How can it be more like it in the good ways? Give it some thought and prayer. See you tomorrow morning. God be with you.